Welcome dear friends to the reflection of 29th Sunday in Ordinary Time. The theme is, it is difficult at times to hold on to one's faith. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus told his disciples a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, In a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor regarded man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, Vindicate me against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterwards he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor regard man, yet because this widow bothers me, I will vindicate her, or she will wear me out by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says. And will not God vindicate his elect, who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? I tell you, he will vindicate them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? The Gospel of the Lord. Two Sundays ago, we had Prophet Habakkuk complaining to God. The country seemed to be in the hands of evildoers. He said, and every kind of injustice was being perpetrated, while the Lord, he said, was just looking on and doing nothing. Why doesn't God listen to our prayers and do what we ask? If he has the power to stop injustices and does nothing, can he not be accused of being an accomplice to it? How does God justify his silence? In answer to these points, Jesus gives us the parable that we read in the Gospel today. Two-thirds of humanity live in misery. Children die from hunger by the thousands every day. Millions of people suffer through no fault of their own. God does not intervene to put things right. How can we square this silence with all the promises he made to his people? We must learn to control our impatience. Remember the parable of the wheat and the weeds. We are like the servants who could not tolerate the evil thriving alongside the good. We always expect immediate action. If there is no immediate improvement, we become discouraged, we lose heart, and think that nothing will ever change. But the world will not change in a matter of days. God is patient and respects the pace at which we change. He listens to our supplications. He is mindful of our cries for help. But He keeps us waiting because He loves all of us and must wait for each of us to open our hearts to Him. Jesus assures us that God will establish His kingdom in this world. When He comes, will He find us ready for Him? Will His delay in coming cause us to lose our faith? The prayer that the Gospel of today speaks of is not merely a boring repetition formula. True prayer consists in keeping up a constant dialogue with the Lord. To pray always means never to take a decision without first consulting Him. If we abandon this relationship with God, or, as we heard in the first reading, if we let our arms fall down, we shall be overwhelmed, and when the Lord comes, we shall be found to be without faith and totally unprepared to receive Him. Let us pray. Jesus, Divine Master, patience is the virtue which you desired 
that we learn and practice. May we allow ourselves and our neighbors to enter into and grow in intimacy with you so that we may patiently work on ourselves with you. Amen.